Hello everyone, happy to see you here on my channel Brain Logic, and today we have really interesting relaxing question 6 divided by 3 and 1 plus 1 inside parentheses. On the first side this is like very easy question because it's not like a complicated challenge with for example square roots, with for example sine, cosine. We have like a regular expression only with parentheses, only with division, multiplication and addition right here, so nothing hard on the first side. But on the second side, if you look closely, right here we have very tricky moments, so right now I suggest you to pause the video and try to solve this challenge right now, write your solution down into the comment section and we will check our answers here in just one minute, so it will be it will be really interesting because this is, looks like very easy challenge, but in the same way this is a very tricky challenge, okay? So what makes all the difference in the world is the order we do this problem, okay? So there are a lot of orders of operation, but in this video I'm going to show you the most popular one and I'm going to show you this second case, a very tricky case when students make this mistake, okay? And for this question, let's write this challenge right here. So we have six divided by 3 and we have 1 plus 1 inside 1 plus 1 inside parentheses. Here is our question. And right now I want, I'm going to split this uh, paper on two, on two parts, this one and this one. Uh, according to the first approach, so let's start right here with the first approach and right here with the with the second approach. But one really important moment. All order of operations are in agreement with the first step. So for example, if you look closely at this PEMDAS order of operation, first step according to PEMDAS is parentheses, okay? So basically, doesn't matter PEMDAS, both maths right here, every time we have parentheses as our first step, so parentheses has the highest priority. And according to order of operation, it will be not like a mistake for us when we start with this addition. So in every case, with this part and in this part, we will have like the same first step. So as a result, what do we have right here? We have 6 divided by 3 and we have times 1 plus 1 equal to 2. And absolutely the same, the same case we're going to write right here. So 6 divided by 3 and times Two. And right now, the main thing, the main part of this question, we will solve this challenge in two different ways. This is the first way and this is the second way. And in the end of the video, we're going to figure out what is the correct approach. This is our first approach right here. And this is our, our second, second approach. Uh, according to the first approach, division and multiplication have the same priority. So it means that we need to go from left to right. And we don't care about multiplication, division, division, multiplication. So we don't care about this order of these multiplication, division signs. We only care from left to right. Okay, left side is right here. So our first sign from left to right is in this division. So we have as a result 6 divided by 3. We have, we have 2. And we still have these two on the on the right side, so we have two times two. As a result, we have we have four. So this is our answer according to first approach. But what tells us the second approach? Second approach tells us, okay, right here you divide six divide by this whole product. Okay, so as a result, we can write it as six divided by so the whole product. So we can easily put brackets right here, three times two, which is equal to six. So we have six divided by six. As a result, right here we have we have one, and right here this is the the trickiest moment because this is the moment that I'm talking that I'm talking before. This is the trickiest moment right here because two different solutions, four and one, and which one is a correct solution? Okay, right now let's look at this. PEMDAS order of operation. This is like the most popular order of operation in the world. So right now, let's look at this question in the perspective of PEMDAS and let's look at this question in, in the perspective of all order of operations. Okay, if you look closely at this PEMDAS order of operation, the first step, so the highest priority has parentheses. So it means that uh, first step is parentheses. In our case, we have parentheses, so this is, is this is really great. And we made the thing and we uh, raise the, we add this one plus one before. So we have two and we have two right here. So everything is absolutely great. Parentheses is our first step. Next, we're gonna swap these exponents parts because we don't have exponents in our question. The next step is multiplication division part, and this is where the debate starts because multiplication division part we have we have right here and moreover basically we don't have addition and subtraction yeah we have we have the addition right here but we made the thing before we add we have two so we don't need this addition part right here we have multiplication division part and right now here is the main thing what is the correct order to do this problem because this PEMDAS is the most popular order of operation in the world so right now according to this order of operation we need to go in strict order from left to right and where where we did the thing we did the thing right here so from left to right, we go right here, 6 divided by 3, the first sign, and the second step is multiplication. So multiplication division have the same priority. So according to PEMDAS, a correct answer is, 
is 4. But a lot of students confused, a lot of students confused and they say that correct answer is 1. And here's my answer. Okay, right here you divided 6 by this whole product, but you can't do the thing like that. You need to put parentheses right here. Yeah, I put parentheses right here. In this case we have, we have parentheses, but we don't have parentheses in our question, yeah? We have 3, we have 1 plus 1, which is equal to 2. If you want to divide this 6 by a whole product, you need to put parentheses right here, okay? And with parentheses, 3 times 2 equal to 6, so right here we have 6 divided by 6, yeah, with parentheses, a correct answer is, is A. In our case, we don't have parentheses, so here's the main thing once more. If you want to divide this 6 by the whole product, you need to put parentheses. Right here, we don't have parentheses. We have a regular expression, you can also check this expression in uh, the most popular order of operation in the world, for example. There are a lot of order of operation in the world, there are a lot of internet math libraries, you can easily check this question, and I give 95%, then the correct answer will be will be B. What hap happens sometimes that correct answer is A, but this is like an older usage, older, older usage, okay? Uh, maybe 100 years ago, people saw this challenge like that. They divide by the whole product, but according to the newest like order of operation, a correct order is the next one. Parentheses. Then, for example, if we have if you don't have exponents, we need to go in a strict order from left to right. And here's our here's our part. This is our first first question. So here's my explanation to this challenge. I hope you understand it. You can also check this answer in your in your calculator, but don't use your regular calculator because you know sometimes happen that uh, those type of calculators work with problem as you type it in. Try to find a calculator where you can plug in the whole entire problem, and then your calculator is smart enough to know about order of operation. Okay? Then a calculator says, "See, okay, I have a parentheses, addition, division, multiplication, and I know the correct." order, but when you plug in 6 divided by 3 in the beginning, the calculators give you, for example, 2. And here is mm, the, like the third interpretation, which helps you a lot to understand this part. For example, imagine, uh, I want to separate this part right here, for example, imagine right here that you have 6 divided by 3 right here. We can also write it as a fraction, so 6 divided by 3 equal to 2, basically, yeah? But you can write it as a fraction, 6 divided by 3, yeah? and 1 plus 1 inside parentheses. This 6 divided by 3 is equal to 2, okay? So we have 2 plus, plus uh, times 2 equal to equal to 4. So in this interpretation, as you can see, the first approach is also a correct, a correct approach. So this is my explanation to this challenge. I hope you understand this explanation. I hope your answer is the same as mine. I hope your, your solution is the same as mine. But we, if you disagree with me, if you have your notes, it will be really interesting to read your assumption down into the comment section. It will be really great to see your notes, to see your, to see your solution. This is my solution. I hope you understand this explanation. This part is older usage, one in older calculators. This is in the newest approach, okay, right here we go from left to right, and if you know a little bit about math, you can write the 6, 6 divided by 3 as a fraction, as like that. As a result, we have the same 4. So thank you for your time, also write your question down into the comment section, and see you in the next videos.